So now we're going to discuss the K laser as if you were to use it on a dog with hip dysplasia. So we go back to the machine, and that's the home page. After you turn the machine on, it warms up, which it takes a while. Again, you want to press OK. The pin number is four zeros. And you're going to go to programs as opposed to my settings. My settings are preset therapy sessions. Programs, you actually set the power yourself. So we have a dog. Let's look at our patient here. His name is Red Wheeler. Isn't he handsome? Hi, Red. Very good patient. He's not looking. Right. And we're going to go to, you have the option to select if you want the shoulder, the back, the neck, the head area, or the legs. I'm just going to go ahead and press all programs because it's easier. Then it brings up each section of the body. Head, hips and shoulders, leg, and back. Since we're doing hips, we're going to go ahead and press hips and shoulders. And I'm going to do edema and congestion since we're dealing with basically a lot of inflammation from hip dysplasia. Or if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and press hips and shoulders and look at more options. Basically gives you a, a four watt power setting for a 35 pound animal. So if your animal is less than 35 pounds, you would need to decrease the power according to what you think it should be. So if I had an animal who was 20 pounds, then I would probably reduce it in half to two watts. If I had an animal who was 80 pounds, I would take it up to 6. So, we have an animal that is 60 pounds, I will either have the option to leave it at 4, or I could bump it up to 5. I'm going to bump it up to 5. To do that, you press the power box, press 5.0 to increase it and press OK. Use the new power on all the following phases and you want to select yes. So now you see the power has changed and it's ready to start for, for a four minute session. The hips is the largest surface area and as we said you want to use, you want to estimate a playing card as your, your uh, therapy size or how much you want a surface area you want to cover. So because the hips is a larger surface area, you want to go ahead and use a larger setting. So that's why it automatically gave you four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and press the yellow triangle to start my session. We have one of our protective goggles as it prompts us. And press OK. And then you see the machine starts to make noise. It warms up. It's ready. Laser's ready to go. Before we start, let's focus on the machine as it shows where it's going to be in continuous wave pattern or pulsation wave pattern. So we have one continuous where it's going to give, up, give off more power, hence create more heat, even though this is not thermal therapy, it's completely photochemotherapy, but this machine does create heat. So you can burn a patient if you're not careful with this device. So the first session the light will stay on as you can see. And this animal is not shaved but I'm going to go back in his hip area here and I have my light collimated to the largest size since I'm dealing with the larger surface area. You can see the changing in the light. I have it on the largest size. And this is a husky so it's better to have the hair shaved over the hip joint where you're going to be applying therapy. But I'm going to go ahead and part the hair, press my button to start, and as I go, you see the light stays on, and I can feel the heat coming off my fingertips as I move slowly across the grid of his hips. And I will change direction. Animals with black fur, you can create a spark. You can burn the animal. So that's why it's best with animals that have a whole bunch of dark pigmented fur or dark pigmented skin to shave the area and turn the power down as we discussed in the lecture. 
Now I'm going to change direction and as I'm going, part the hair. And yes, it looks pretty simple as if it's not applying anything, but this actually is targeting the 20 to 40 percent of cells we discussed in the lecture. So in due time, the animal will feel the effects of this photochemical therapy. So you see the light has changed into pulsation mode where it's giving off less heat and therefore the animal will not feel the effects of so, many, so much heat if he was dark pigmented. And I can actually touch the skin area for three to five seconds, keeping in mind that it's still generating heat, so I'm not gonna touch too long. And then I can go in a circular pattern, making, I only, making sure that I only cover about three centimeters a second and keeping it above the fur one to two centimeters. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the session.